YouTube, it's Jordan, and I'm going to show you today how I redid my room and painted this background here, and I redid the whole thing. And I'll also be showing you different DIY projects that will help to redo your room. So if you want to see how that turns out, stay tuned. Okay, so I basically just started off with moving everything from all of my walls. In the middle of my room, I have all my stuff just piled up on my desk and dresser. I made stencils. They look like this. And basically what I did was I found a picture that I wanted of like the leaves that I wanted online. And I printed it out. I put some, I don't know what it's called, but I put it on both sides. I used an X-Acto knife and cut out the little, um, and cut out the whole shape of it so it looks like this and I ended up with something that looks like this. I painted my whole room white except for my closet because I didn't have enough paint but my mom's going to get more paint right now. I'm actually just going to start my sketch on the wall because I'm planning on having a tree right here on the wall. So what I'm doing is I found a picture that I wanted on my iPad. Right now I'm just going to draw the base of um, the tree and all the trunks and branches and stuff. So that's pretty much what I'm starting out by doing. And you can't really see, I'm using really light pencil on it and it actually erases, which is so surprising. Um, but yeah, so basically I marked at the very top of my wall, you can't really see it, but there's a really small dot line right there at the very top. That's the top I want the tree to be. And then I kind of drew a really light line all the way around. You can't see this at all, but all the way to over here to how wide I want it. And same thing on this side. And then I drew all the way down too, just to kind of see how um, wide and big I want it to be. Map out all the swirls and stuff, kind of like this and try to do it as much like this picture as possible. I finished um, the outline of the whole tree and you really can't like see this but I put swirls like everywhere. I got this little mini um, this little mini roller that I'm using for the trunk which is what I was just using right there. So it looks like that. Then I'm going to use um, a big and little brush just to paint all of these little swirls and I might even use a smaller brush to get that really cool little point on the tip. Okay so I'm still I'm in the midst of painting it and it is going really well. I used this brush you can't really see it's all covered in paint but this brush to do most of the little spirals How that one looks now after I did everything. Finally I'm done with the tree and it looks awesome. That's how it looks and it took forever. You can see a faint line right there and that's a pencil line that I drew and also the pencil line over here but I'm not going to mess with that right now until I do the leaves but I have in multiple spots the um, pencil line right here and so I'm actually just going to paint over each one of those with the pencil line and then if I have lines like this that I didn't really go on I'm just going to try to erase it with an eraser. Okay so I just finished erasing all the lines and painting over it and so hopefully you shouldn't see any more lines. <laughs> So I was going through my stuff and I found all of these really pretty rocks, but they're in this like really ugly container kind of thing. And I wasn't sure what to do with them until I came up with this idea. So I just got this jar and I'm going to take these rocks and put them in here for a pencil holder. So first I put in all the big rocks and then I'm just going to put in all the small rocks. Then I found in my little craft area these like Valentine's Day thing and I thought they would fit my room perfectly so I just got those and I basically just used hot glue to wrap it around the jar and just add a little decoration to it then you can snip off the excess with some scissors and just kind of arrange the hearts to however you want them to be and you can glue some up using hot glue and it works perfect for holding pencils and stuff you just 
stick it in there and it totally just like holds them. The rest of the spools, gold, and shells that I have here. Uh, I think I'm just gonna keep them to do like jewelry with them. So basically, this is how my tree looks. And I just started off on one side and I just started using the stencils to create some leaves. So let's say I wanna use this stencil. And um, I've already used it, which is why it has red along the edges. And so basically, I just put it down where I want to use it. I don't take very much paint. Kind of lightly go around the edges. And you can see the basic outline of it. And then I just go in with a slightly smaller brush and kind of fill in the rest of it and make that, um, like the edges look a little bit more clean. This is how it looks and it looks really cool and it, obviously it's not perfect but it's as close as I can make it. Um, and I just basically do that with different sizes everywhere in the tree just to fill it up as much as I can. But it's actually taking a lot more work than I thought it was. So I might not do as many leaves that I was going to do initially. So I pretty much just filled up the leaves all around my tree. Because so, I wanted my tree to be filled up more like it just looked kind of bare. I decided to make little dots everywhere. So, I created these little things that I made up. I use my scissors to cut it out. Dab of glue and just put it down right in the center. So here's my little paint thing. I'm gonna stick it down here and just dab it a little bit. But when you use this, the most important thing to do is just twist it. If you don't twist it, it's going to look like a little bit of a blob. So you have to make sure to stick it in and twist it to create a perfect circle. See, this is um, my little pen holder. It has my little pens and markers in here. And it used to all be like... This design right here is like a kind of a school design with like numbers and letters and crayons and rulers and whatever. It used to all be that color. But I'm trying to kind of have everything in my room match. So I just painted it. So around my room I painted these little birds with the stencil the same way that I painted the leaves. And I painted some up here and over here and over here and also over there. And a few more over here. Next thing, um, I also got these really pretty curtains for my closet. Since my closet's kind of small and I kind of have to cram things in there, it doesn't look too pretty. Next, I got this amazing thing bag chair. So this is like my favorite beanbag chair in the world, seriously. It doesn't even feel like a beanbag. It's like foamy inside and just like squishy. It feels like, I don't know, but it feels like heaven. It's so amazing. <laughs> and I also think that the tree I painted looks really good behind this because it's like red and red. And here's just some boring stuff on my shelves here. I have my jewelry and stuff at the bottom, some notebooks and things, and lots and lots of craft supplies, and more little junk and stuff and books, and just kind of random things. Oh, and this is, oh, this is kind of cool. Every time something good happens to me, I just write it down in this little notepad here, and put it in there, put the date in, because I have a little thing that helped like that. And then at the end of the year, I can look at all the good things that happened in 2013. So I think that's a really good idea. And next, I have my dresser. I thought this was kind of cute, because these little things light up right here and make it look really cool. And this little thing too. Here I have just lotions, lip balm, hand sanitizer and stuff. And then in each of these drawers, some things are clothes, some things are duct tape. I have so much duct tape. It doesn't even close, like seriously. There. And next is my favorite thing ever. This. So first, it's this, it's just this really pretty like white um, wood thing. And I got these cute little, um, what do you call these? These cute little, like, kind of little baskets for it. And I just, I put my hair tools in there. And here I have my nail polish and some of my jewelry and stuff and watches. And where I put my little rings and things. Um, and then here I have more of my hair supplies. Oh my gosh, I have so much. I have brushes and heat protectants and hairspray and 
you name it, I have it. <laughs> Here are some more craft supplies, like this, like, these are old clothes I don't need anymore, and some really cool yarn um, that I'm planning to make things with. And here are more hair things. I have little, cute little flowers and stuff, and some headbands. <laughs> To divide this, I just got a piece of cardboard and taped, I put duct tape on it, so black duct tape, so it'll match as best as I could, and it just divides it really easily. I really should put another piece of duct tape right here, though. And the coolest part about this is this. Dun, da, da, dun. It turns. And I just put my earrings on here, and I don't know why I have only one just hanging right here, so don't ask that. And, um... This used to be a little hair thing that broke, and so I just hot glued it and put it to a little pin on the back, and now it is a little pin that you can just stick on. And I did that with a few little um, buttons that I never wear, like this, and I just glued the pin on, and now I can just stick them on. And this used to be a magnet, and I did the same exact thing. <laughs> And, um, yeah, so, and I just have my calendar right here. So this is, like, ideal, awesome. Like, seriously, this is amazing. And then there's more, believe it or not. A little hanger place so I can hang my coats and stuff. And there's more. And it's a mirror. Seriously, like, what? And you can see, like, I love this mirror so much because I can see my whole outfit in it. And then you can just spin it right back to the front. This is, like, the best use for space you can ever use. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, and there's still more. And I put some stuff right here at the top. Um, I put my little headband thing I made right there at the top with some headbands on it. I emptied it out and cleaned it, and now I'm just taking some white duct tape because it matches my room, and I'm just duct taping it all over and trying to make it as smooth as possible. My little coin collection and binoculars and some just some other stuff that I don't really know what else to do with it, so I just stick them up there, and no one can even see them. Next, I have my little hamper that matches my room. Super cute. The other birds that I painted. My door to my bathroom. I'd show you my bathroom, but I didn't really redo it, so it's not really that big of a deal. And then come over to my bed. This is my amazing bed. I love it. It's so cool. It's just like metal, and it has a ladder on this side and a ladder on that side, and so I can climb up from either way, which is pretty cool. And I got this bedspread. I think it's reversible. It's red on one side. And like this tannish color on the other. I don't really like that color. That's why I just keep it on this side. And then it has white, like my white little pillow. Basically, this is how my bed looks, and it matches my room perfectly. I purchased this really nice little light right here. And it's just like, it just sticks, this thing just sticks onto my wall, or, or your ceiling, I guess. And it sticks on really, really well. And this thing just comes right off. And you can move it, put it however you want, and it comes off. And then you can just turn it on. And it's just a really nice little reading light. So this is how underneath my bed, this is how it looks. So this chair is like my favorite chair in the world, seriously. And it's a really pretty green and it swirls around really easy. It can rise up and come back down. And it just has like kind of metal along the edges. And it's like foamy right here. It has nothing right there except for it's like little fabric. And it's so comfortable, and yeah, I seriously love that chair. And let's see, so over here is just my computer that really needs to be cleaned, really, really dirty. My keyboard and mouse. And here's the little light to just see the stuff that I'm doing or whatever. Oh, this is where I put my pencil holder that I made, the DIY pencil holder. Over here I have my shoes, and then I have my trash and recycling right here. And I probably, I might spray paint these later. And last but not least, my rug. I am in love with this rug. It is so cool. It's just like the shape of a circle. And it has these little, um, like frilly things at the bottom. And they feel really cool on your feet. And it's just, it's like the best rug ever. So that's my room for you guys. And I hope you guys like this video. I'm sorry it's kind of long. It's really hard to cut down like that much video. If you guys are planning to redo your room, comment what you're doing down in the comments down below so I can know that this actually helps some people. 
And if you have any other video suggestions for me to do, make sure to comment that down below too. And I'll make sure to consider it for one of my future videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss another one. And so thanks for watching this video, guys. And if, you, if you're going to redo your room, have fun doing that. And I hope this video helps. So bye!